Hi everybody and I hope that all of you are doing well and keeping safe. So today I am going to share some easy tips and tricks for creating perfect hooded eyes makeup that opens and brightens droopy eyes. So this is my good side and this is my bad side. To begin with, I am going to take an eyebrow pencil. We will start with the eyebrows. On the good side, I am creating an eyebrow with an arch which is going to lift up my eye look, the eye makeup look and I I am flicking it outwards. Here you can see I am just drawing it normally creating an arch and flicking it outside and I'm not bringing it really low the tail of the eyebrow while on the other side I am going for a very straighter brow and I am bringing the tail a bit longer than the other side bringing the uh, tail of the eyebrow very low and will make your eyes look droopy. Now I am priming my eyelids. It is really important to prime your eyelids when you have hooded eyes because the creases on your eyes can make your eye makeup to crease very easily because of the oils present on the skin. Here I am just cleaning up the eyebrows, blending up the concealer and I am going to set it with a translucent setting powder. It does help to absorb all the oils uh, which is present on the skin and my eye is ready for the eye makeup. Now I am going to take this transition shade. On the bad eye, I will follow and apply the transition shade on the crease, right on the crease. As you can see, I don't have enough space and I am just using my crease to apply my crease shade as a guideline. While on the other side, I am going to create a new crease. So I am going slightly above my actual crease and creating which I call a cheat crease. Which will give an illusion of a bigger eyelid space and I am flicking the eyeshadow outside. I am not bringing it down but I am flicking it up towards my eyebrow. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone. On the bad side, I am just taking a big space and applying all over my highlighter. Whereas on the other side, I will just keep it under my eyebrow and apply it very strategically. Now for the eyeliner. On the good side, I am creating a really, really, really thin line because here we have to avoid taking up the space of the lid. So I am just creating a really thin line. I am just keeping it straight and creating a really tiny, teeny tiny wing. On the other side, I am going to create a thick wing. Though thick wing is really pretty and uh, it looks really dramatic for certain eye looks, but for hooded and droopy eyes, I am going to show you why we should avoid it. While creating a thick wing, a thick wing eyeliner is going to take up most of the lid space. You will see in this clip.
while looking down you can see it's a perfect winged eyeliner but when we open the wing is getting inside the hood of the eye so it's rather better going for a very thin eyeliner now i'm going to highlight my eyelid highlighting means we are bringing the parts of our face outwards and uh, when we are applying darker colors, we are making those parts inside. So make sure to use lighter colors on your eyelids especially. Now I'm using a really dark color on my waterline. You will see the effects and the difference what it makes by using wrong techniques and wrong colors. On the good side, I'm using a nude eye pencil or eyeliner and it really helps to open up the eyes the dark colors will close up the eyes some more now I'm going to smoke out my lower lash line I'm using the same transition color and I am applying it on one third of my lower lash line the inner corner I will keep it for to highlight just using my highlighter and applying it on the inner corners of my eyes as you can see it has brightened up my eye and my eye looks more awake and open now I'm curling my eyes eyelashes I have I think the world's thinnest eye in the world no matter what I do no matter what uh, mascara I use my eyelashes won't show up but I am applying it very generously here and make sure you apply on the lower lashes as well it also helps to open up your eyes and make your eyes look more awakened side also I'm doing the same thing but because of the winged eyeliner you cannot see the mascara at all same goes with the lower lash line because of the dark color you cannot see it at all so that completes it over here you can clearly see the difference the techniques what i've used on the bad side have made my eye look smaller while the other eye it's it's looking more brighter and open up so that's it for today guys i hope you have enjoyed it and if you liked it give the thumbs up till my next video take very good care of yourselves bye